as, as you know, I am, um, I am a faculty with uh, Seattle Children uh, Research Institute here in Seattle, and so it's uh, just down the street. My, uh, my research uh, interest is in epilepsy, and uh, uh, I am interested in understanding uh, the mechanism of genetic epilepsies. And, um, and I should mention that uh, uh, epilepsy, although most of the time people uh, refer to it in, as uh, epilepsy, it, uh, um, it's a set of syndrome and uh, it, 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 it's a spectrum of diseases that uh, manifest themselves by uh, seizures. And so that, uh, that's my interest, and I look at those that are, are due to genetic mutation and try to understand how, the genet how we go from having this uh, genetic mutation to the symptoms that manifest themselves by these uh, seizures that can be violent and can affect other aspects of life, such as cognition, uh, memory, sleep, and all. Um, uh, several comorbidities that we know about uh, in, this, uh, in these disorders. So my work is on uh, Dravet syndrome, and uh, Dravet syndrome is a, is a childhood epilepsy due to mutation in a, in a small gene uh, known as SCN1A. And this gene is important because uh, this is the gene that uh, encode or produce a protein known as sodium channel. And this uh, sodium channel is, uh, is a key participant in nu neurons' uh, way of generating electrical activity. And so uh, we worked um, uh, for several years in trying to understand how this genetic mutation leads to epilepsy. And so um, I used to work on the University of Washington with uh, Dr. Catterall, who is a world-renowned uh, person in the field of uh, sodium channel function. And, um, and so we, uh, we are able now to look at this. Um, uh, we, we generated a mouse model uh, that uh, has this epilepsy. And we're looking at uh, what are the, 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 the pathophysiological mechanisms that lead to, uh, to this, uh, this, this, this disorder. Um, and so we investigated at the cellular level and see uh, uh, the changes that occur when this mutation uh, is present in the in the mice. And one of the big findings that we 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 we, uh, we came across at first is that uh, the mutation leads to uh, hyper uh, hypoactivity of uh, inhibitory neurons. So it's what we call now uh, interneuronopathy or abnormal function of interneurons. The interneurons are the inhibitory neurons of uh, the inhibitory cells of the brain and together with excitatory cells they they balance each other for normal function of the brain and in the case of this epilepsy where these interneurons are malfunctioning then you have a situation where you have an excitation that can go out of control and lead to this epilepsy uh, these seizures that we, we observe in this epilepsy. And so what uh, we, we, we found is that we found the mechanism at the cellular level that uh, lead to the epilepsy uh, and to the seizures, I should say. And then from there, we, uh, we look at uh, what else is, uh, is known about this um, uh, Dravet syndrome. We know that it's very as is associated with a lot of uh, comorbid conditions, and so we look at sleep and uh, and uh, especially these days, I'm, uh, my, my lab is uh, focused on sudden unexpected death in epilepsy which is uh, by itself a very important phenomenon that occur in some people with epilepsy. And uh, the, uh, it is, uh, we find that uh, in those, uh, in some people with epilepsy, they, they may die suddenly without a very well understandable uh, reason. And so we're trying to, to go in using this model of epilepsy, trying to understand why uh, this sudden death occur. Behind um, the sudden yes, the, the yes. So we want to understand uh, what are the mechanisms that lead to this sudden death in uh, in Dravet syndrome, and uh, so we in fact just got um, 
um, get a, a grant with uh, Cure, uh, Citizen United, um, for the research in epilepsy. And uh, so they are funding our research to understand the mechanism for, uh, for SUDEP, as it's known, uh, in, uh, in this epilepsy. And we also have um, another model of, um, of uh, epilepsy due to abnormal brain malformation, uh, brain, abnormal brain formation, and this, this epilepsy also can lead to sudden death. So we have two animal models of, the, of uh, these two epilepsy uh, uh, phenotype, and then we want to, to find out how uh, what is the mechanism that leads to death uh, and are they the same and we can compare them and see is there some similarity or uh, are those two different mechanisms because we know from uh, uh, from our friend in clinics that um, the sudden death can occur both in Dravet as well as in uh, and in uh, focal cortical dysplasia. And so that's a big focus of my lab trying to understand how what are the pathophysiological mechanisms of, uh, uh, of these um, uh, sudden death.